If you haven't even considered the topic we're talking about today, you can't consider yourself serious about building muscle. And that topic is hypertrophy failure. For those of you who don't know, hypertrophy is just a fancy word for saying muscle growth, and it doesn't come easy for everyone. In fact, most people hit the gym consistently and train hard, but fail to see the results they think they've been working so hard to get. So understanding why your muscles aren't growing are crucial for breaking through plateaus and kickstarting your gains again. So if you've just started going to the gym or you've been lifting for years, it's really important to understand the reasons behind hypertrophy failure and how you can actually fix them. So if you're watching this thinking that you're not getting the results you want, it's likely one of these reasons. So let's dive into it. One of the most frustrating things in fitness is you're hitting the gym regularly, putting in the time, the effort and the sweat, but then looking in the mirror days, weeks or months later and still seeing no change. You're lifting heavy, you're grinding it out, but the muscle just still isn't there. And I know it's really disheartening, but there's plenty of people that have given up because of this but you shouldn't be the one that does. So here's the good news. It's not necessarily about working harder, although that might be the case. It's generally about working smarter. If you're not seeing muscle growth, chances are you're making one or several of the most common mistakes people make when trying to build muscle. Because muscle growth is just as much about strategy as it is effort. So let's slide right into the 10 most common reasons your muscles aren't growing and how you can fix them. So let's start with number one, and that's lack of progressive overload because progressive overload are one of the key things when it comes to building muscle. So if you're lifting the same weight, doing the same sets and reps week after week, your muscles aren't going to get the stimulus that they really need to grow. So in order to fix this, you need to consistently challenge your muscles by increasing the weight, the reps, or the sets you're doing for your exercises. A study in 2016 by the main man, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, showed that progressive overload is one of the key principles to maximizing a muscle hypertrophy. So moving on to the second mistake, it's not eating enough calories or protein. Muscle needs fuel to grow. So if you're not eating enough calories, especially protein, you're not giving the body what it needs to repair and grow your muscles. So if I was you, I'd aim for at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm around 170 pounds, so I want to have at least 170 grams of protein per day. And I would ideally aim to be in a caloric surplus, meaning you're consuming more calories than you burn in a day in order to keep progressing your muscle size. A study by Phillips in 2005 showed that an increased intake of protein when paired with resistance training is directly linked to increased hypertrophy. Now onto number three is poor recovery and sleep. Now I think it's widely misunderstood that Muscle growth doesn't happen in the gym, it happens outside the gym when you're resting, particularly whilst you're in deep sleep. So if you're not getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep per night, you're not giving your body enough time to repair the muscles you've broken down in the gym. A study by Datilo in 2011 showed that inadequate sleep negatively impacts muscle protein synthesis, disrupting recovery and increasing the risk of muscle breakdown. Now moving on to number four is inconsistent training. You need consistency to see results, so skipping or constantly changing your workouts is restricting your body from adapting and growing. So stick to a program and show up regularly because remember muscle growth is a marathon not a sprint. Now number five a slightly controversial one is too much cardio. So whilst cardio is obviously great for heart health and fat loss too much cardio can interfere with your body's ability to build muscle. So excessive cardio can cause your body to go into a catabolic state which is where it starts to use your muscle as energy. Number six is exercise selection. This is often something people don't think about at all but it's seriously important. Picking exercises that are redundant, i.e. they target the same muscle in the same way throughout the whole session is a really big waste of time. When alternatively, you can choose exercises that vary the stimulus to the muscle during the workout, which will ultimately optimize your gains. And whilst compound movements are great, they aren't necessarily good for hypertrophy because they have minimal isolation of specific muscles. So if I was you, unless you really want to build strength in them particular compound movements, I wouldn't do compound movements. Now onto number seven is neglecting eccentric movement. Many people neglect the eccentric phase of the movement, which is when you're lowering the weight. Now another study by Schoenfeld in 2017 showed that focusing on the eccentric portion of the movement can stimulate more muscle growth than not focusing on it. So next time you're doing an exercise, make sure to focus and slow down the eccentric part of the movement. If you wanna learn more about eccentric training and stretch mediated hypertrophy, click the link in the top right corner of the screen. It'll take you to one of my recent videos where I break it down in detail, explain the science behind it and how to apply it to your actual training. 
Now on to number eight, lack of mind to muscle connection. Have you ever heard of the phrase, go through the motions? Because if you're not actually feeling the muscle whilst you're training it, you're missing out on gains. And coming in with another great study, Schoenfeld in 2018 showed that individuals who use an internal focus, so specifically concentrating on the muscle they're contracting, experience high levels of muscle activation and hypertrophy compared with individuals who did not use an internal focus. So it is scientifically proven to concentrate on contracting the muscle during each rep. Now on to number nine, this is overtraining. So in case you didn't know, it's very possible to train too much, too hard and too often without allowing your muscles time to recover. So if you are feeling any of these symptoms, it's probably time to dial back and allow yourself to recover properly between sessions. And for the final point, it's not tracking your progress. So if you're not tracking your progress, whether it's through a journal or through an app, you're flying blind. Because tracking your progress helps you know if you're getting stronger and you're making gains, and it also tells you if you're not getting stronger or making gains. So if you're tracking your progress and you're not seeing improvements, you know what you need to change because you've tracked it all. Out of all of these reasons, the most impactful one by far is progressive overload because it's the foundation of muscle growth. Without it, all the recovery and nutrition won't help you. Because when you progressively overload your muscles, you're forcing them to adapt to grow bigger and stronger. You can start by adding a little extra weight each week or even doing an extra rep, but you will start to see progress if you stick to it consistently. Because even small increases in weight or reps can lead to dramatic increases in gains over time. So this is one of the main factors that separate people who see muscle growth and those who don't. For example, legendary bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger was a huge proponent for progressive overload because he didn't just lift heavy, he constantly increased the weight he was using, which is what gave him his incredible physique. So if it worked for Arnold in the olden days where training and nutrition wasn't a key point, it will definitely work for you. So let's recap. If your muscles aren't growing, it could be due to one or more of these 10 common mistakes people make. Not using progressive overload, not having enough calories or protein, poor recovery, inconsistent training, too much cardio, poor exercise selection, neglecting eccentric movements, lack of mind to muscle connection, overtraining, or not tracking your progress. So the key takeaway here should be that muscle growth requires a holistic approach. You need to combine proper training, nutrition, recovery, and strategy to see the gains that you want. So now it's your turn. Have you struggled to see muscle growth or have you made any of these mistakes? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for more tips on hypertrophy, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I post twice a week. One of them will be an in-practice workout Wednesday video where you get to see my full workout whilst I break it down in between the exercises. Or if you want to see my other videos, which are my Saturday videos like these, it takes a more informational approach that are scientifically backed. If you like this video in particular, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post. That's all from me on this one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.